Hello everybody, Joel Logan with A Hole in the Ground Terrain. Today I want to present to you a video that has been several months in the making. As of today, I've made one of every piece in the Capital City base set by Fat Dragon Games, uh, which is available on RPGnow.com, DriveThruRPG, and WarGamersVault.com as well. Today's video is going to be a, a short review that basically shows you all that you can build with a Capital City base set. I'm going to go through it building by building and item by item so you can see everything put together and made. If you're a Hero Clicks player, uh, if you're running some type of zombie apocalypse game, or you're running anything that uses a modern setting of any kind uh, that uses a city, then this is a great set for you. The set is uh, around $13.99. Usually, if you watch it and get on their newsletter, you can catch it on sale. Uh, he runs good sales throughout the year, so the most you would pay for this set is $13.99. Uh, but anyway, stay tuned for the rest of the video. We're going to go through the whole set, building by building and item by item. I hope you enjoy this video. If you like it, please subscribe, let your friends know about it, and uh, let, let us know if you like it. Thanks, and God bless. Hello everybody, we're going to start with um, what I'm calling building one and uh, this building is um, made using uh, basically kind of gray block and brick and uh, pretty neat piece, it's um, three stories and what's neat about this one is it has an optional two stories that you can put on the top. Uh, let me see if I can remove this one hand and uh, from my grid system here. Um, what's neat about this, like I said, is the optional top piece comes off. So you can have a three-story building here or uh, you can bump it up to a five-story building which is very cool. Um, this one is, it, it's six pages the file and it uh, prints out um, it's actually going to take probably 13 to build it and uh, we're going to talk about the items a little later but one of the items you definitely want on this one uh, it matches the brickwork uh, is the roof hatch and uh, I'll leave that on there but anyway let's turn the building around so you can get a full view of it like I said this is building one uh, it's a six page file but it's probably going to take about 13 to print and uh, like I do with all of my buildings, and uh, Fat Dragon Tom has designed these where you can make these collapsible, where they would all fold down. Uh, I like to build my stuff pretty sturdy. As you've seen from previous videos, I've got this one uh, beefed up with a lot of foam and brace, so it can handle a lot of weight. So uh, let's set building one back over here. this out of the way. Now let's on next to my list is um, building two. Let me bring building two back into the picture. Here's building two guys. Hopefully you can see it all. Uh, building two is uh, gray stone and um, now there's no way I could build every single option. But in the file, you can also have an optional um, green door instead of red. This file is four pages, and um, it's going to take at least seven to build. But let me show you um, all of this. Let me flip it around here. Very neat looking building. I like the, uh, I think you call these capstones over the windows and um, the architectural piece that goes around it makes it look like a very modern building. Um, has some really neat architectural design. And like the other, the inside is, uh, I've used a lot of foam in to make it really strong. Don't have to build it that way, that's an option. Now, uh, building three. Uh, let me pull from over here. I don't have a, a road section built for over here yet. 
Uh, but building three is a, a pretty neat building, and uh, it's got some of the optional pieces on we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, building three is a traditional red brick building, which you see all around. And uh, some of the neat things about it, it's a four-page file. It takes seven to build. Uh, it has some really neat optional boarded-up windows. Now, I've got a building over here that I never finished that I wanted to show you. Um, but if you're running like uh, something where disasters happen, it's got all these optional broken windows, boarded up windows. Isn't that really neat, guys? And then for the door, it has a uh, crime scene tape on it. Let's see if I can uh, get, get that focus for you. There we go. See, and that look really neat. So if you were having, you know, like a zombie game or something, Apocalypse, that would be pretty neat. Of course, in Heroclix games, I guess things get tore up as well. But anyway, I kept this piece out just to show you some of the options. Uh, let's see what else. I think that's most of the options for this building. And I'll go back over some of this other stuff in a minute, will you? So for now, let's set that building off to the side. Now, building four is a tan brick one-story building. Um, I built mine kind of special because uh, I was looking to fill in a certain size. But this file here is, is traditionally just a small building. I've made mine twice as big. But it has two options, and I've built both options for you. But this building, building four, is tan brick. It's made to be a storefront. And uh, one store is the Minuteman Express, which is like a copying store. Let's see if I can uh, get that to focus in for you. There you go, so you can read some of it. And then the other option here is a little Italian restaurant. Hopefully that's focused in where you can see it there. There you go. And... Um, now, I did not print it on mine because I was looking for a more clean look, but there's a lot of optional graffiti that you can do. One says, uh, I think, once you go fat, you never go back, and Fat D rules on some of the buildings, back of the buildings here. Uh, but like I said, I didn't print any of the graffiti, but there is some really neat graffiti options uh, if you're in looking for a modern... Um, uh, urban landscape with graffiti and things like that and then um building five uh which i really enjoyed building let me pull it back over here it kind of uses that uh tan brick uh style too uh but it's a three-story building and it's five page file takes seven to build uh what's really neat about this it looks really cool is this overhang here it uh, really gives the building a neat uh, three-dimensional effect. You can see those overhangs there. And uh, optional on this, I've got some of the green colored trim. You can also do uh, a purplish uh, or mauve color uh, that's instead of this color, it would be uh, here. Everything would be purple. But this building's kind of neat. It kind of has an institutional look. Uh, almost like a hospital, but you could use this building for lots of different things. Uh, but building five is really neat, and um, and and like if I hadn't already stated, most of these buildings are fairly easy to build. Uh, you basically got four pieces, and uh, then you got a piece here that wraps around that's four pieces, and then a roof. Uh, so most of these buildings are very easy to build, and that's probably one of the highlights of the capital city base set all right and i'm going to try to go through all the items hopefully i don't um skip over any dumpsters let me pull these out for you um i love these dumpsters they're so easy to build um there's two different styles here i believe a green and a blue are your options uh they have some really neat uh writing on them let's see if i can focus in uh, FDG for Fat Dragon Games Waste and Recycling. Thought that was pretty neat. And uh, similar here, just different numbers. Uh, but but the dumpsters are really neat. Let's see what it says on the back. Yeah, same thing there. Fat Dragon Tom uh, puts a lot of stuff into it that's really cool. 
So let's set dumpsters back off to the side. Uh, dumpsters always look good around the city. <coughs> they kind of uh, make it look cool. Now, something you see on a lot of buildings here uh, are the HVAC units. Let me pull this out. Very easy to build. Um, simple rectangle here. And uh, has a lot of little detail on it. I think in Hero Clicks, though I've never used the rules, um, I think you can pick things up and throw it. So that would definitely be a good item to pick up and throw. Or if you're on a rooftop battle, that's always something good to take cover behind. Uh, that's one of the items. The next one are the traffic lights here, which are pretty neat. I've only built two of these. I need to build some more of them. Um, now, one problem I had um, in the instructions, he says to glue them down to your sidewalks. I don't know if I like doing that. I like for my things to be modular. So what I did, using one of the Hertz Arts, Hurst Arts basic block molds, I just took two blocks. They already kind of look like concrete being gray. And I glued it down. I tried some washers and things like that. But because of the shape, it just kept wanting to tip over. But gluing it to two of the uh, little blocks, that really worked out good there. And um, usually what you'll want to do is uh, at an intersection. You can see my little intersection here. You want to have one on one side and one on the other. And the more complex the intersection, of course, you'd want more of these lights. But... Uh, Really neat piece. Really makes your city look uh, look really detailed. Um, now, Fat Dragon Tom, he also has some cars. Uh, so far, there's only been two made, but the one that comes in the base set is this taxi here. And uh, hopefully, I don't know if my bill did it justice here, but um, pretty neat. Pretty neat car. Has a lot of detail to it. And also something you can pick up and throw. And it has detail on the bottom. If you can see past all my glue here. But uh, you can see the undercarriage of the car and see the drivetrain, transmission, rear end, mufflers, all that good stuff. So hopefully you can see that. Uh, so what's a city without cars? And I'll uh, talk about some optional cars here in a minute that I've come up with. Um, Next is a crashed car and a sinkhole. We'll go ahead and talk about both of those at the same time. Now, hopefully I can show you some road tile stuff here in a minute, but you see all the roads I've built. Now, Fat Dragon Tom designed a piece here called a sinkhole. I guess in a lot of superhero things, you know, something crashes, makes a big hole in the road. So this you can just set on top of any of your roads. You see how it just kind of slides away. And you've got an instant uh, sinkhole. Now, what he's also developed using the same uh, taxi cab model, of course, it is different because it's not the whole thing, uh, is a little car that's down in the sinkhole, which is pretty neat. So he made a taxi uh, that you just uh, that ends right here, and you glue it down to a sinkhole. Uh, so that looks really, really neat if you're running a big battle or uh, have some type of ruined landscape. Put that back right there. So, um, very neat file and uh, really makes your city look cool to have that there. Fire escape. Now, guys, this doesn't look complicated, but it took me a while to figure it out. Fire escapes, uh, anything that comes off these buildings, whether it's a Fat Dragon model, Dave Grafham, or any, it just gives everything a three-dimensional effect. So, the fire escape's really neat. Uh, it's big enough to put the hero click size, the one and a half on here. So uh, if you wanted to have a little battle with some guys here, um, your fire escape is there. There's a little drop off there and a little ladder for climbing up. A um, little bit harder to build than some of the others, but I figured it out. It has some, uh, I don't know if you can see all that, some different support pieces on the side. And, uh, but it's pretty sturdy, the way I've got it glued on there. Really adds a great three-dimensional aspect to the building. Fire escapes can be put on any of the buildings. Of course, I think it looks good on the red brick building. Um, so that's a really neat piece you can put on anything. And talking about fire, 
he also makes some different fires. You can see it throughout the city. Uh, if you want a building to be on fire, it's a very simple piece that you just uh, fold over. And it has the texture, I believe, of a roof on there. So uh, it's a simple thing you fold over, and then it has some kind of legs that fold out. Uh, very simple to make, and uh, looks pretty neat if you've got something on fire there. Um, we're our rooftop access. We've all yeah. Let's look at those. Uh, I think the only difference. I think there's two of these in the file. I think one has like a grayish door, and one has a yellow door. But these look good on any of the buildings, really. If you want to have rooftop access, you can put them on anything. So, those are really simple to build. And you'll find most of the Fat Dragon stuff is pretty simple to build. But the Capital City, uh, if you're just getting into uh, cardstock modeling... Uh, this is definitely a good beginner set to get into. Uh, really, really easy to build. And uh, lastly, the water tower. Now, I did not do a perfect job on this by any means. I could have did a lot better. But um, this one's a little bit challenging because you got a lot to score and cut out. Uh, but it looks pretty cool on the build, and it gives you a good urban look. I did a little bit of touch-up with some paint. Um, of course, here's the inside, but cutting all these X's and getting them glued right can be a challenge. And then I had some problems with bleed through with some of my markers, uh, black markers. But overall, uh, the water tower turned out pretty good. And uh, I could definitely do a little better on the next one I build. Uh, but that turned out good. And guys, I think that is one of every set. Now, not to confuse you. Um, there is another set called McDooms, uh, which I will try to do in another video. I've built this as part of my city, so just want to point out that that's not in the base set. So we've covered everything. Uh, before we leave, let's see if we can talk a little bit about the roads. I think the roads comes in five uh, different files, and um, you basically... You know, you can put one inch or inch and a half on here. That's something important for all your roofs and everything. This, you have one file that is just like this. See if I can show it to you. This is a piece of paper. Uh, if you're just wanting to do sidewalks, you can print this out and cut out what you need. You'll notice around the city, I have different uh, varying sidewalks here. And um, roads, you can't ever have too many roads. Now, guys, what I have done, um, just so you know, one of the weaknesses of the, of the base set that I'll point out, and there's very few, is there's no parking spaces in the Fat Dragon Games uh, Capital City base set. All these parking spaces you saw, this comes in the McDoom set. So with the basic set, all you get are different intersections. There's a curved piece, which I don't have any printed, there's an intersection like this, and there's a straight piece. Uh, there's different pieces just to make uh, road connectors and road grids. So uh, if you want the parking spaces like this, you're going to have to buy the McDooms uh, set. And uh, some people don't build parking spaces, but I thought, you know, it just looked more realistic and added some depth to it. Uh, so... In the main, there's one file that has all your sidewalks and everything in it. So it's got sidewalks and roads. But just be clear, there's no parking spaces. You have to buy the McDoom set to get that. Then also to let you know, I reversed, mirrored some of the parking spaces so I could have them at different angles from McDooms. Uh, lastly, let's talk a little bit about cars. Um, and I did a lot of research about this online. I don't know if you can see this here. Let's see if I can get zoomed in. I'm not sure if I can or not. I wanted to show you what scale this was. And it says it on the car. I don't know if we're going to get it. But the car is 1 to 43. It is right there. 
on the car. Uh, overall, if you read online, a lot of people say that 1 to 43 scale cars are the closest you're going to get for 28 millimeter, 30 millimeter um, gaming. Right now, Toys R Us has some really good packs of these cars for $9.99. I need to get back with my kids and buy some more. I bought a little three pack of these for $9.99. And uh, if you compare it um, to the car that Bat Dragon Tom did, the taxi, it's pretty darn close. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to quit uh, ranting on. Um, this is a great set for $13.99 or less you can buy. Uh, all sorts of things you can do with it. Uh, if you're an experienced Heroclix player and you're tired of playing on two-dimensional posters, could you imagine going from that to building little cities to fight in? How awesome that would be. Uh, anyway, I know this is a long video, so I'm going to quit talking. If you have any questions, please post them below. And um, let us know if you like the video. Thanks. God bless. And please subscribe if you had not already.